Hi, this is Louise with um, EDAD 614, journal number three for this class. Um, this one's about master scheduling and what uh, ethical dilemmas there might be. Um, I think there, the three big ones are um, what courses to keep and not to keep um, and how that will affect equity. Um, teacher prep periods, and who is teaching what and when. Um, as a school leader, I'll need to look at the school and district initiatives um, and strategic plans, giving and then giving teachers a voice by allowing them to be a part of the planning. Um, with this, uh, my district, my school uh, allows us to be part of the planning by um, sending out a Google sheet to each department and we determine when our prep periods are going to be, um, what we're going to teach when. So for example, I teach basic algebra classes and study skills classes to seniors in high school and I get to choose when I would like my prep period to be because they're seniors, they're mo usually gone after lunch. Um, so for me, prep period makes sense for seventh and eighth period. That allows me time to hold meetings, meet with parents, talk to my students, meet with my students individually, all of that fun stuff. Um, I also get to pick when I would like to have my basic algebra classes. I teach two of them uh, when I would like to teach those. I, we talk as a department because there's another teacher who also teaches basic algebra. Um, and set it up in a way that we can move kids from one class to another without too many issues um, if needed. So part of the other, that, so I feel like I have a voice in the planning that gives me um, my, my say in, in what I would like to have done. Now, does it always work? Of course not. Are there conflicts? Sure there are. Um, but being able to have a say is a huge thing when it comes to the culture um, on the campus. Also helping teachers understand the complexities of the master schedule and how it affects every aspect of school. It does in fact affect the culture um, and what we teach and what we don't teach can affect what happens with our students. Um, in high schools, sometimes giving conversations back to the departments themselves is really important. Um, and I think at the elementary school level, it's more about what will be taught when, when will prep periods be scheduled, what classes will have PE and art, um, when is it recess, who's going to lunch when, not necessarily the in and out of, of every day of, of who's teaching what subject at what time, but more of when or what the, what does the day as a whole look like? What does the week look like? Those are um, dilemmas that I see that come forth with master scheduling.